Hey, how's it going, guys? Jared from Avalanche Reviews here, and um, I'm trying something a little different. I was uh, recently approached by Bill from WRF Studios, and they're working on this game here in front of you, Bloodlust Vampire Shadow Hunter, and he wanted me to try out their early demo and see what I thought, so I figured why not include you guys in the process. So uh, this is going to be kind of new for me. I've never really done a Let's Play. I'm not real quick off the top of my head with this stuff, but you guys... Uh, Bear with me and let's see what we got. Well, enough about all this nonsense. Let's go ahead and get into the game. There we go. And uh, all of this here will be familiar to anybody who played any games um, having anything to do with D&D uh, &D rule sets or D&D &D style system. We can spend points and it looks like we can control our gender. Let's make it a girl. It's always more entertaining. Alright, as far as breed goes, we can be a vampire or a if I'm pronouncing this right, Dampir. I, I think that's how you say it, Dampir. Half uh, human, half vampire. There we go. Not as strong, but do not need to drink blood as much. And they have some resistance to light and fire. Let's go with that. Now we can choose between three classes here. The warrior, the witch, and the criminal. I'll go ahead and go with the warrior. And let's assign some points. Charisma. Gotta have charisma. Strength for sure, dexterity, and let's put the last two in vitality. All right, let's uh. Oh no, we got to name them. All right, she has to have a very feminine name. How about Ava Review? Nice, very nice and feminine. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, now from what I can tell, I'm pretty sure this was um, built off an earlier build of the Unreal Engine. And you know, it looks great as far as environments go. A little bump mapping and lighting around here, I like it. Yeah, see that looks really good. And I'm going to go ahead and skip through this just for your guys' sake. Because I've been through it before. And... Let's take a look at our character. I could definitely see that... There we go, yeah. You know, her 3D model isn't as impressive as the environment here. It looks like they spent a lot of time working on this environment. Um, you know, again, I'm going to point out that this is a real early build of the game. And, uh, of course, you know, a lot of these things are going to be addressed. That's why I'm playing this here. But it'll be cool to kind of see where it goes from here. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Blah, blah, blah. I did experience a bug in the game when I first started it where during this scene my character kept jumping up and down so I tried to start a new character and then the character of the character select screen was jumping up and down too so maybe they put that in there on purpose. Alright, goodbye. Don't care about you. Mesh plate. You know, it this is almost, this seems like a roguelike to me, because a lot of this, uh, a lot of this loot in these chests seem to be kind of random, before I found a completely different item in that chest. What do we got here? Mesh plate, minimum of 20 strength required to equip. I like this little equip menu here, this little radial kind of deal, this is nice. The only problem is, is I'm apparently not wearing any clothes, according to this. No pants, shoes, nothing. But we'll work on that. And um, if you hit control, you can control, no pun intended, the cursor here. And go up and it looks like we have a skill point to use. So let's let's upgrade Iron Aura. There we go. Level 2 Iron Aura. That just pretty much buffs up your defense. Let's open this guy up and see. And it blew up on me. Just like a lot of dungeon crawlers, you got traps in all the chests. I can't equip that either. I accidentally dropped it. Alright, what's in the barrel? Why not? Alright, our first enemy here, a zombie. Alright, 
combat's pretty fun in here. Um, I'll, I'll say, let me show you the, um, the animations for attacks are a little stiff, I guess is the word. But, um, you know, I'm having a fun time attacking and stuff like that, so that's always good. Let's prove that right here. See, one thing I have noticed is, uh, a lot of times sound effects for your swing or your attack won't register. So if you're listening, Bill, that's one of those things you should work on. What is this? Now oh, here we go. This is a cool feature of the game. You can shoot out this little red ball. I think it's called Vampiric Gaze. And you can kind of hit, hit the switches that are out of the way or something like that. Where did I just go? I gotta do it again. I didn't do it right. Sometimes gauges just don't do things right. There we go. Let's kick this guy's ass. Yeah, don't fuck with me. Hey, what did I tell you? We get some pants eventually. There we go, now we have pants. And of course all this stuff adds to my defense instead. Not very good at disarming these things. I'm not sure what stat plays into that or if it's just a random factor. With a lot of dungeon crawlers it tends to be more random. Let's continue on up ahead. What's in here? A key, alright. This is one issue I'm having, and it's not a huge issue, it's just a little gripe, but um, even when forcing V-Sync on my graphics card, you can see there's still a little screen tearing. I'm, I'm thinking that's kind of in the engine right now. But uh, that's not a huge deal, that's pretty easy for them to remedy. I assume. I'm no game developer here. I gotta stay away from this light because that'll hurt me. Because I'm a vampire. And look at that. Level up. So let's assign some more stats. I mean, points to stats. Put dexterity up. And vitality. How about that? And we can now buy another skill or improve the ones we have. Let's see. Let's buy another one. We will. Spirit summon. That sounds cool. Jump to this place. Now that's badass. <coughs> Blew up on me again. Let's go into our inventory. What is this? 13 intelligence. I'm not intelligent enough to read a book. Well, you saw it here first. Let's go ahead and vampiric gaze around the corner here. Head trigger secret. Now that's just good advice for everybody. Let's see what secret the head triggered. Hey, look at that. Successfully disarmed a trap. Minimum of 18 strength. Should have upped my strength when I had the chance. Now I'm left wondering why. All right, that's all I got for right here. Let's let's continue on, shall we? One thing I like about this, let me show you, is uh, the Doom style map that you can still run around while looking at. I love that. And your cursor will actually move with you. That's awesome. So let's see where else there is to go. How about right here? Jesus. Fucking barrel just exploded. That'll happen to you sometimes. You gotta be on your toes. Physics. There we go. Let's see if we can just ruin that. I think I need 
need a lockpick. Oh, sweet. Yeah, one thing I really like about um, indie style RPGs like this is I love it when they include voice acting. I don't know, it just seems more polished to me. Maybe that's just me, though. So we got a new knife. Let's find someone to test it out on. Ask and you shall receive. Nice. Kick that guy's ass. Let's go ahead and take this. Dragons. And there's a crow. Can you hear me? Yeah, see, I don't know. There's something about voice acting. Now, I'm not huge on voice acting. I play a lot of console RPGs from, like, the PlayStation era. And I'm fine with them not having voice acting, but... For an indie PC game, it kind of just shows off that you're putting all the little extra bells and whistles into it. And you know what's real interesting is is that they chose to make this kind of game. I mean, most indie developed games right now aren't exactly PC games. They're uh, like retro kind of nods to old gaming. Um, oh jeez, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Um, there's got to be a way to get out of this. Let's go to our menu. Resume. Nothing. Oh, I can see my, my sword and my flashlight now, so that's good. Yeah, it looks like I found a bug. Let's see. Maybe we can... I can't save through there. Let's hit F1 and save. And then load that game. Hopefully that'll work. There we go. That'll do it. Yeah, you'll have bugs in a game this early in development, no matter what. But I captured it and found it, and I believe I should be getting a check for this. As soon as the game comes out and they fix that bug, I should get residuals. Let's talk to her. See, now this girl's 3D model looks pretty nice. A little bit of time went into that one. Must be the new fledgling, huh? Thank you. you there you go. But like I was saying, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, indie developers are, are developing these these retro kind of less is more games. Um, you know, you got your your Minecrafts and your Cave Story and uh, what else is big right now? Um, I can't think of anything. That's insane. Uh, you know, Retro City Rampage stuff like that. They've been kind of going towards more like an 8-bit modern kind of deal and it's really cool to see a developer putting out a, a PC game it's just been a while since people have made PC games huh that's right killed that little gorilla large sword why not man I need to up my strength I cannot equip anything But, let's go into our journal. Now, I'll tell you, since I'm coming fresh off of that Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines review, it is good to see that they've learned from that game, and they actually have a pretty well-versed uh, mission and waypoint system and, and map system. That's always good to know. They have little hints there to kind of help you along. That's pretty awesome. So let's go back there to where they want me to go because I'm a mindless tool who does whatever I'm told. Okay, let's check our map. Help Sarah find fur. <laughs> that sounds so sexual. That is awesome. All right, Wolf. How about you? Sometimes because the sound effects aren't registering, you don't know if you're hitting them or missing them. Where'd that other one go? There we are. And I'll take prisoners. So I did that. 
Let's see if I got some fur. There we go. Wolf fur. Nice and easy. Let's open up our character menu and put all my goddamn points into strength. So I can equip one of those sweet weapons. How about the axe? Yeah. Oh, mesh blade too. Finally got a shirt on. Moving up in the world. I to talk to him. Let's talk to this guy. So I'm gonna skip a lot of this dialogue just for you guys, but these are kind of just like fetch quests and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Look at how fat and unhappy this guy is. He is just a fat, unhappy man. <laughs> I gotta tell you, first impressions. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this title. It's it's really uh. Uh, they're trying a lot of things here, and, and most of them, for me, are working. I like the puzzle aspects of it. Um, you know, it's... Of course, it's it's definitely unpolished, to say the least, but... I don't know, it's just really cool. It's, it's, it's really cool to see a developer put this kind of work into a game like this. Just, these aren't very popular, and it's kind of like a, a niche audience Did that they're going for here. Yeah, find that for you. That still sounds so sexual. Let's see what you got. Lockpicks? Why not? Let's sell some stuff here. Red ring, getting rid of that. Sell my knives. Get a key, why not? Alright, nothing else here is... Goodbye. Interesting me. Let's see what we can do further down the line. Okay, let's try those lock picks out. Alright, my lock picking skill sucks. Just like in real life. Open this door. What's behind this wall? And this is another area we'll have to use the vampire gaze to get through here. Flip this switch. And that's how it's done. There we go. You have to watch out because these little plates here will trigger and poison you. Uh, a lot like, um, kind of like a roguelike type of game. With, uh, you know, random traps and loot and stuff like that. Whoa! Zombie gorilla coming right at us. That's always good to see. Let's summon a... Summon a... There we go. Kick his ass, crow. What? Dude, I'm gonna be doing that all day long. Whoa, what's going on? I have no idea what's happening. I think I'm inside the wall. Jesus. Fuck with me, gorilla. That was fun. Anything new over here? Hey, finally get to use one of those keys. Look at that. What the fuck? Fucking wall snakes. As you'd expect. There's snakes in the water. Tired of these motherfucking snakes in this motherfucking wall. Thank you. That's Samuel L. Jackson. Alright. Well, let's see what we got. Put on some gloves. Two percent extra experience. Don't mind if I do. I see some guy. All right. 
Well, we've got some more skills to buy here. And this is a cool little feature I found out about a little later. <coughs> All right, so we got more skills to buy, it looks like. And from what I can tell here, here, you interact with members of certain vampire clans, and you get reputations with them. And that'll allow you to buy certain skills that are kind of allocated to that clan. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we can find here. Secret site. Now that we've learned that, we can see through this wall. There we go. Alright. Put some boots on. Can't wear those goggles. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Alright. <laughs> I got freaked out by that. Yeah, it looks like we can mix things together, so let's mix a snake eye with shadow weed, which is the most potent form of weed, I'm told. Can't mix those. Alright. Whoops. Let me do that. Oh, well, you can't mix everything. Let's see what else is over here. Nothing interesting. Can I tell you snakes? Oh, what? That's awesome. Rusty dagger. I'm taking, maybe it's just the mood I'm in today, but I'm taking all of this stuff as sexual innuendos. I think I could definitely, uh, I'd definitely like to see a little more camera adjustment here. It just seems to kind of mess up every once in a while. Cleaver, what? I'll take that. Alright, so you got a typical RPG setup. You got side quests and fetch quests and real time combat and stats. Pretty interesting. I like this stuff so far. Put this down. What's that? Oh, it's a red guy. We don't take kindly to that either. Oh, cool. You can double tap a direction and dodge. That's awesome. And I'm assuming I'm going to fire my hot, throbbing vampire gaze through this hole. I got to clear this. Is this is getting too much. Alright. So I did something. There we go. Oh, there's. See, there's sunlight there, and that'll kill me. Let's save. Make sure. Oh, no. Yep, that kills me. I already opened you. All right, let's do it again. There we go. And I assume I have to do the same thing right here. There we go. I like these puzzles. I assume as the game goes on, they'll get a little bit harder, but pretty cool. Just key to open this up. I'm not a big fan of the whole roguelike, every treasure chest has to be a trap kind of thing. Kind of, I don't feel like that adds anything. Alright. Leveled up again. Vitality went out. A little charisma. Oh, 
Well, this is as good a stopping point as any. I feel like I got a pretty good idea of what the game's like here. All right, guys, that was a quick look at Bloodlust Vampire Shadow Hunter from WRF Studios. And I got to say, I'm really impressed with this. Um, you know, this is a really ambitious project for them, and there's a lot of rough edges that need to be ironed out. But this is a really fun game, and this could polish out to be a really, really cool release. And it's also good to see a developer, you know, taking a chance and releasing a game to a real niche market like this. You know, you could tell this is a labor of love, and they really want to get this out. So I'm going to leave links in the description to the WRF Studios YouTube page, and also the page where you can download the demo, so you can try it out and see what you think. Now as far as I go, like I said, uh, this is my first time doing this, so make sure to let me know in the comments whether or not this is something you'd be interested in seeing again. And um, if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button or subscribe. And I think that's about it, so this is Jared from Avalanche Reviews, signing out. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my little experiment here, but if you're in the mood for a more traditional review, well I've got a couple right here. And if you like them, click that subscribe button. Now Avalanche Reviews also has a Facebook and a Twitter now, so go ahead and check those out and drop me a line sometime. I'll see you guys later.